almost nobody in America gets standard of care management of pain. Um, this is striking. Uh, fields of, of, of pain medicine and addiction medicine, fields that involved controlled substances and therefore uh, come under the purview of the Drug Enforcement Agency, are distorted by that influence. Um, this is a long history. It goes back 100 years uh, to the Harrison Act. Um, uh, the distortion is easy to see, and let me give you an example. If you were to walk in, have an acute asthma attack and walk into any emergency room in this country, you pretty much get um, um, standard of care, meaning what the textbooks say care you should you should get. And, and that care would be pretty much the same no matter what ER you walked into. Um, the situation for chronic pain is very different. Um, if pain persists despite reasonable efforts, the any textbook of medicine, of pain medicine, will tell you that the standard of care is um, a procedure known as opioid titration to analgesic effect. This means simply that we administer opioids, uh, morphine and related drugs, um, in gradually increasing doses until either the pain is relieved or we get side effects from the medications that prevent us from increasing the dose further. Those are the only two um, uh, possible outcomes. Every textbook says that. And when we talk about the standard of care, the medical standard of care, that's not what most reputable physicians in the community would do. That's not. The standard of care is what the textbooks say you should do, what the science says you should do. It's not a matter of regulation or law. It's a matter of science. Um, and like I said, in almost every field of medicine, the care you get is, is pretty much what docs understand uh, the state of the art to be. And there aren't uh, tremendous conflicts there. Um, in pain medicine, we have really what you have is a policeman in the room with the doctor and the patient. <laughs> Only he's invisible and no one acknowledges his presence, but he's there. <laughs> and his gun is pointed squarely at the head of the doctor. People believe that because opioid pain medications are prescribed by doctors and available in pharmacies, that they are legal medications, they are not. As far as the DEA and the government is concerned, these medications are narcotics, sort of law enforcement slang for illegal drugs. Um, they are only legal if the Department of Justice, after the fact, says they are. So if I'm a doctor and I prescribe you medications, um, and later the D uh, DEA investigates me, and I have a trial. In that trial, lay people uh, uh, will decide whether my actions were uh, legitimate medicine or not after the fact. And if they are judged not, then that prescription was illegal. I'm a drug dealer, and you're a drug addict, not a patient. Um, it's very hard for people to understand this. There's literally. Uh, uh, the case. So, the penalties for coming to the attention of the authorities are very, very severe. Um, uh, if they, if the government decides that you're prescribing too many pills, um, uh, if they find some of your patients have been selling your pills or are criminals, uh, and get them to testify against you, um, then you uh, are treated as if you were, um, they literally apply RICO type laws to physicians. They are treating you the way they would treat a drug cartel, 
and the full force of the federal government comes down upon you. These federal trials, I've participated in a few, um, are, are brutally unfair, <laughs> almost impossible to win. Um, uh, I'm going into all this because um, when your doctor sees you and judges you to be a chronic pain patient, and he knows that the therapy for that, let's say you've been through physical therapy, you've been through um, aspirin and Motrin and steroidal drugs, and uh, you're now a chronic pain patient and you need opioids. Well, now he's in for an open-ended analgesic titr titration to analgesic effect. We're not sure where it's going to end. And that is a very uncomfortable situation for physicians to be in, in a legal environment where if you prescribe too many pills, you stand to go to jail for 25 years, uh, literally. Um, uh, this reality distorts the doctor-patient relationship beyond all recognition. Uh, and pain patients are subjected to um, pain contracts uh, that are, are, are in, uh, in which they have to, are forced to sign away their right to see other physicians, right to go to the ER, uh, where they're put on notice that if they complain about their medications, that will be judged a sign of drug seeking. Um, uh, um, and, and, and what is so striking and terrible about it is not even the intensity of the abuse of liberties. It's the casualness and routineness with which this has uh, become. It's um, the difficulty in explaining to people uh, what I'm trying to explain to you now. Um, I think I'll let you ask another question to help me do that.